Um, welcome, my name is Lifeworks and this is my first English speaking um, beauty. Um, so please a little bit gentle cause English isn't my native language and I finally found a solution for producing liquid hydrogen um, in an early state without super coolant in a safe way. And this is something that I wanted to share, not just with my people in my native language, also with you worldwide. So I tried to explain the system that I have built here, because it was a huge pain in the butt to produce it. Because uh, uh, the, the huge problem is the momentum where um, the gas flips over to liquid, um, normally it breaks your pipe. And you don't have any other liquid that is cooler than the 200 and... Um, no, not the outer Why I need the hydrogen there. Uh, the, the condensed point of uh, liquid hydrogen uh, of, of hydrogen is uh, 0, 0,252.2 degrees. And there isn't any other gas or liquid which is colder than that. So you have just to cool down the hydrogen. And this is the setup that I made. I'm going to explain it to you here. Uh, then we're going, we're going to rebuild it on this side as well. And I'm going to tell you what were the main problems where I built it. And how I find the solution. So this video is going to take some minutes um yeah just get started okay first of all um there were some things that you need to know the first problem that i had here here was the first version that i built and oh, it was a huge pain in the ass before uh, in the battery uh before i had the, had the right point so first of all we gonna send in hydrogen uh, with an overflow mechanism, and flow control 500 gram per second. Ye, this is the, the the roundabout number for the whole system. I'm gonna explain later now why. And uh, gas shut off, where it get controlled by one of the gas and a second one. But I'm gonna explain that later. First of all, these things get up. Here we have a high trash. A threshold of 40 and a low threshold of 20 so there's always um, a math in this uh, gas reservoir always instead of one case because that one case made a huge problem in the past so this was the solution for that so uh, this get controlled by that one okay so hydrogen get in and it get into this system here First of all, this whole system here is a vacuum. It must, it really, really must to be a vacuum cause, um, and you see all, all I have here are radiant pipes, um, cause vacuum doesn't allow um, a temperature um, transfer between the um, the components. So I need a lot of components with a very, very high uh, thermal conductivity. Uh, conductic conductivity, um, cause um, it must take the the cold or the heat. In this case, the heat, the cold, um, or must to be specific, must lose all his energy that it has to get this cold. Um, that's the reason why all the components that are dedicated to the vacuum have the highest thermal conductivity that I found. I test, uh, tested and uh, watched a lot what I did, uh, um, what thermal conductivity the, 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 the object has. So here we have a gas reserve of steel, we have here tiles made of granite, we have uh, made all the radiant pipes of steel. Um, this is the reason why. Uh, so okay. Here comes hydrogen, get in into the system. We have here as well a flow control of 500 gram per sec. So uh can be sure because it stacks you up. Um, 
500 gram get into the system. Each of the, uh, the, the chamber regulators cool down the hydrogen by 15 degrees. So this whole system gets into a loop. It's cool here, it's cool here, let's get over here, get here. Now we have um, a gas pipe terminal center um, with a signal, a sending signal all under, all under 200, nay, no, all, all below, that's the right uh, grammatical term for it, uh, all below 235 degrees. Um, um, gets back into a loop system, you see, it's get out here, here we have the radial pipe, like I told you, and get back into the tank. So this is a cooling loop for itself, because um, new thermal mass will come and gonna raise the temperature, and that's the reason why normally this tank got um, a little threshold. But in the, not, not that this one case, but I'm gonna explain the case later. So if the temperature um, is below 235 degrees, this thing get out here. Okay, and now you see we have another loop. Cause uh, first of all, I need a pre-cooled system, and this is it. That, that one is gonna do in the pre-cooling, and this is the um, very fine cooling system cause um like i said it's there's no other liquid there's no other gas that is below 252 degrees and what i'm gonna do is i need a huge pre-cooling system and then a very very tiny fine cooling system that's gonna adjust all the system to this little needle point where it's condensed from gas to liquid. So, what are we going here? You see, um, 500 gram, that's the reason why I have here a gas wolf, 500 gram going all the system, and 500 gram get here out. Why? Very specific, because everything that gets here out from the peak cooling system must to join up, like you see here. This is also a gas reservoir, and here gas of a specific 509 gram, but you're gonna see why. So just in, remember the 500. Um, this 500 gram goes in here, and gonna you see here's a 500 gram as well. So both can join in a kilogram. So there's no stacks, so no 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 back stacking of something. So this gets into the tank, and you see the tank got 0, 247.3 degrees. That's a lot, and close to by, because this is, what I told you, a very nearby and fine system. So, what's gonna do? It's get out here, 500, 590 degrees, 90, you're gonna see why, and it's getting in here. And you see, we have here another thermoregulator. As well as the second one this one gonna cool down you see 247 degrees get in and i have here um thermal trash um, um a thermal gas pipe sensor as well and it said set a green one when the temperature is above 0241 degrees they shut the system off and the system is off it flips over to this uh <laughs> Um, to this gas pipe, it's get in into the system, and now we're gonna have another one. You see, here we have a gas valve of 90 degrees. So it's that's the reason why I pick out 590 degree, uh, 590 grams, sorry, not degrees. And um, this night from from the 590 gram, it took out 50 gram. It goes here, goes in there. You see, um, here, 90 gram of 247.1 gram of hydrogen with 247.1 degrees. And what it's gonna do now is, um, it adds or substrate 50 degrees in this term uh, regulator. You see here. Uh, 247 and it's get out by 0 260.4 degrees that's below the condensed point so normally it must be flipping 
be, be not, not the flipping, um, be condensing to liquid. Um, and that's the reason why sometimes, uh, especially when you start the game new, um, it's get a little bit damaged. But that's actually no problem. You can uh, make a door so a dub can uh, a dub can be get in and uh, repair it. This is, this is the only point where this happens. Um, and now you see, I'm gonna expose it again in a vacuum. And you see here that's the reason. You see the gas pipes got 255 degrees. Um, and get into the system. This system here, and this is also very, very important. You see, my metal tiles are from tungsten. And because this was the material with the highest thermal conductivity, uh, I tested a lot. You see, copper, lead, uh, lead, um, iron, coal, tungsten, and steel. And I needed the material. Like like I said before, all materials in the past, uh, in the past, all materials uh, exposed to the vacuum, I need the material with the highest thermal conductivity, and this was tungsten. And because I didn't, you see, um, this works like a huge, cool accu. A cool accumulate, and I don't know the English word for that. Like like a cooling grid, it's like the, the temperature, and you have the problem. You see, I got a high pressure gas vent, and when you first spit on the, the start on the system, it's all all this system does because you build it with twenty degrees or the degrees that the material has is it's it's way too uh, too hot. Even the zero one hundred degrees is way too hot for zero two hundred and. 55 or 57 degrees so all the system does is first releasing all its energy that with the specific heat is into the new cold medium and then you're gonna stack up 20 20 kilogram and when 20 kilogram has been raised um, you over pressure it so what I did I built a gas pump it set everything above 90 degree uh, 90 kilogram and what I'm gonna do is I'll pump it out and send it back into the system Okay, now you're wondering why you have seen, why did this here? Like I said, when you're building it, you have the main problem that it takes nearly forever that this tungsten plate gonna achieve the temperature that's in here. Because you see, when, when I do this, it, it's finally flipped. It flipped. I always said flipped, but I mean condensed. Uh, I finally condensed, and you see, I'm, I'm building up liquid hydrogen, finally. And the tides got the temperature of 0 to 154.2, depends on, no, oh, nearly everything. Oh, you see, there. Oh, he pumps again, because condensed new. Um, what I did, and you see here, I got here another uh, gas radiant pipe sensor. So it set all the temperature that get above... 0, 200, 0 241 degrees. Sends a green signal. And when this green signal happens, it doesn't bridge back into this loop. No. It takes the mass and send it into this system to cool down the metal tiles. Because otherwise, all you're going to do is cool down the system with 90 gram of hydrogen. 90 gram of hydrogen is just drop of water that, that was it and here you have a system which pre-cooled everything that you have so all the system that you need is you just started that was it now you can just this was a huge major problem in the first time because uh the bit the biggest problem and in, in, in the starting point was all the gas pipes all the gas pipes were isolated because normally you say okay they must be isolated isolated doesn't mean that it stopped the thermal uh kind of conductivity between two objects no it just said it needs more time it's need a huge more time you see here everything is okay here's a vacuum you see this 0107 all, all this mass did change his temperature normally you would say okay it's isolated but it doesn't mean it stopped the temperature uh, the temperature conductivity uh, or thermal 
um, transfer between two objects. Now it doesn't stop it, it just makes it slower. Um, the only thing that stops it is vacuum. And that's the reason why I said I need all the pipes exposed or all the component, uh, components that are exposed to vacuum must have uh, the highest thermal conductivity so it accept so uh, it exchanges as fast and as soon as possible the temperature to the stuff that flows in the system so we have here pre-cooling system and after this pre-cooling system the normal temperature they get into this system is zero it's always it's always below 200 uh, zero be always below negative 200 40 degrees uh, 30 degrees yeah always always so what it does now is it's circular back and that was it and now you say okay so like, how are you gonna um what how are you gonna do the, these thermal regulators, because there's an, the, the, another problem, not overheat. You must cool them down. And I tried a lot. I really, really, really tried a lot to cool the system down and even cooled the tiles down. Because these producing heat and the heat get into the tiles. I tried it with liquids. I tried it with all the other stuff. The solution was... <laughs> and sometimes it is always a solution. It was, I don't know. <laughs> it's the only uh, liquid. Let me see where do we have elements. Liquid. I don't know. I don't know. Good old ethanol. Okay, like you see, uh, ethanol got the really really neat point that it gets gassy at uh, seventy-eight point four degrees and gets solid on minus one hundred. 40.1 degrees. So, what I did is just a simple cooling loop. I just put it here and my... Oh, never mind. Anyway, um, on a simple terminal accurate tuner, you see here, pretty easy in system um, for cooling down ethanol to the zero, I said my 100 degrees. Yeah, that's, that's the point. And all it does is, you see, it's exposed in vacuum. And all it does is just cool this system down. The whole system gets, the whole system with thermoregulators gets cooled down by liquid ethanol. And it's get out by, let me see, still 100 degrees, zero. And this was very, very, very important. And, okay. I guess we are near by the end. One system that was collapsing because it's uh, starting at the beginning, like I said, is um, this one. Um, like I said, you got always a threshold here by 40 to 20. A high threshold of threshold pointed, I said, anyway. Um, threshold on 40. So, uh, sends a red signal when the con container, the reservoir, is full at 40%. It stops. And a low threshold and 20 degrees, uh, 20%, then send a green signal. So when the, there's always 20% of math into this uh, reservoir, which keeps, uh, I, I mean, when the system runs and never goes below, no, above zero, uh, above negative 100 degrees. Yeah. So, but I got a huge problem because I'm, when you're starting the system and this cooling loop cools down in the old system here, um, even the gas pipes are very important because when the gas pipes not chilly, chilly, not 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 chilled, as uh, the um, get chilled to zero, uh, zero. Oh, it says zero. Um, not get chilled to. Um, negative 240 degrees, stuff like that, um, it's gonna break your pipes. You get heat damage. And to be ensured that this system runs and not get overfloated by this pre-cooling system, I added another logic um, parameter here, and it said high trash bolt. When this system is 50%, it said a red signal. This red signal get heat up. So it said no. If I still have 50% here on math, 
I said red, and even if you're green, you don't open this valve, because this system's still running. And this stopped the first system, yeah, of course. But you can be sure, and you see here, um, I always lose in 90 gram. I know it's not a lot, but it's a perfect... I don't know why, I tried a lot. It's a perfect um, ma mass, actually mass is the point, where this stuff gets out, and you see, it's get hit 260 degrees, and all it does is now, it's pumping in 260 degrees, a zero. I, just, I said again, zero. Man. Uh, minus um, 260 degrees hydrogen. And you see, I said here in hydrogen sensor, I said, uh, current pressure, you see, it's, it's building up. It's, it's condensing here, you see it. Everything with reach 2 kilogram, it's pump it up. And uh, luckily enough, when you hit the, the, the condensed point, this don't activate anymore, because every, every math that in here now you see there's just milligrams of it before it was 90 kilogram and 20 and this was over floating but this is just for the beginning till this system hit the temperature where that happens and you see it's still working and you still can make this point closed and at an, an, an oh now it's open again oh yeah you can see it you see here's coming new mass and yeah there's some new mass it's cool pre-cooling uh like i said till it get the re uh, the point of a um, minus 200 and uh, 35 degrees this mass you see it stopped and now we have this mass in the pre-cooling system it's get cooled it's get cooled it's get cooled Ooh, and for your information um I cooled as well with liquid uh, ethanol, but as well as, I mean, two kilograms of hydrogen are as gas here as well. And you see thermal shift plates uh, for, um, are made from gold. Yeah, remember that as well, uh, that you need them. So we're going to watch the system here. You see this mass get cooled down. It's get chilled. While this one... Oh, uh, hope. Ah, uh, 7.9. I'm, I'm pretty sure this must be rich enough. Because, you see, I always pick out 90 gram. And with get lesser, you see, you, you get... Uh, let's see. I mean, this was the right point. Let's see. We hit the temperature soon here. And now we get 500 gram. And we get lower, we get lower, we get lower, we get lower. 90 grams of methane. I'm pretty sure it is coming new soon. 410 four, gram. Otherwise, I need to. Um, that is a little bit higher. I'm pretty sure it was the, the right number. Come on, don't disappoint me. I'm recording this. Don't disappoint me. Damn. Looks like... Okay, now we're running out. Yeah. <laughs> running out before something you can... Yeah, okay. So I need uh, just a little bit the the, the threshold. But that, that's all. You need just a little bit. And that's... Oh, yeah. This is coming a new one. Oh, so close. Okay. Uh, I better send a high trash point on... And you see? It's running. Everything is filled up. Here. Still stopped. New news coming in. And you see here, here, something breaks up. Oh, cold damage. What the? Why? Normally this shouldn't happen. So why did it get the cold damage? The radiant pipes. Because actually I don't need it anymore. After this system has, has, has started to run. Hmm, or oh, you better deactivate it after it has reached the point. I was so happy yesterday, and now I have to break down the gas pipes. 
but this is all, all the gas pipe. The main problem is that we have now um, hydrogen here, and this makes the problem because everything we need this in a vacuum. So, <clears throat> hello, give me a sample and fill that with a vacuum. Okay, actually, this works. <laughs> Trust me, if you if, if you start this one. Um, what is this problem? Normally this... Or was it a problem because it's too low? Uh, you need this for starting. Trust me, you really, really need this for starting. Um, but things, it looks like... Um, oh. Shut down this off the whole time. Because this is cool enough. I already reached the point where I want to have cool down the metal tiles. Actually, I don't want to um, cool them down anymore. Because um, I already hit the point where it gets liquefied. So this is just from the starting. Then after the starting, you can... Um, you can set this gas thermal pipe uh, below. Actually, you can deactivate it or... Deconstruct it doesn't matter anymore because you reached what you wanted. You want this metal tire very, very cold. And you see the system's still running. And it's got the temperature. Let's see. Ah, they must be coming soon. Okay. Okay, I need another high trash point. About maybe. Um, when we don't reach 50, we do 60. Let's see. We'll give it another shot. I'm recording 26 minutes. At first I was thinking to rebuild it to you to see what I did. But I'm pretty sure um, you understand that as well. Otherwise, if you want that I rebuilt the system uh, in, another, uh, in, this, in another video, like part two of this, uh, just write it down in the comments below. Um, it would be... Yeah, it would be nice if you would do that. And if you watch this till the end and you want to support me because <laughs> I'm just a small YouTuber and live streamer, that would be very kind. Just leave a subscribe and a thumb up and maybe, maybe just a little comment. I would be super happy about that one. Um, I would say thank you in my language. Dankeschön. Because I'm German. <laughs> so, you see, this is the system that I built up, which produced me liquid hydrogen pre-space setup, early game. You need steel, you need ethanol, and you need, of course, tungsten and stuff like that. You see, but it's working. It's really, really, really working. And when the system gets started, like I said, um, you need this just to pre-cool down the system. And this to um, send all the mass that get first delivered here back to the system to it get the cooling point from here. And you really need a lot of time. I'm, I don't, I'm not pretty sure. 20, 30 cycles. I don't know. I didn't rec record it. I, oh, this problem was huge to find a solution. I mean, I needed more than 20 hours to find all the answers and all the problems that I had and when you rebuild it and use it in your base do it all in a vacuum and make it accessible for your dupes because sometimes when everything gets start up and uh, they must repair it like you see sometimes it happens because normally it doesn't here it starts when when I load it the first two broke this one up Okay, no mass. You see, there's coming new mass here. And this sometimes doing the damage. New mass? I'm not sure. No, actually not. No, it doesn't. Yeah, you see. All I did here was uh, to add a new threshold. I hope this new threshold works. When this... I'm not sure. Who sent first? Let's see. Who shut up first? Uh, who shut up first? He does. Okay, so and maybe I don't need. I need 50. Which I have five more. 
Just need more mass. More mass would, but more mass would mean I need more time to cool it down. But I can stack up here more because I'm just subtracting here 90 gram. Um, it's very very important that everything I just remember repeat it because it's important. It was um, the main problem of all in the beginning. All. Components that are in vacuum need the highest thermal conductivity that you have. All the components. You see the gas worth of the steel, the radiant pipe of some steel, um, the gas shot of the tungsten. Even here, you see the liquid reserve of steel, the gas pump is of steel. Because sure, it needs everything here. Got the lowest thermal conductivity, but this one um, needs the highest. Because I want to exchange heat as soon as possible to reach the point of t uh, below 200 uh, minus 254 uh, degrees. This is really important. Really, really, really important. Just remember that one. And the whole system, just for information, runs on one wire and it needs a uh, thousand. Why did you get now cold damage? I don't know any time you need to get it there. Mm. Anyway, like I said, you need a uh, accessible point for your dubs. To so get in here, you can make... Um, not sure how this English word for it. You can make it accessible. You find... You, you definitely have a way for that one. Make a liquid, uh, sh liquid entrance or something like that. You will find a way, trust me. Um, so, yeah. I hope this system helped you a lot. And we even found another mistake that I, after, after after that was reached, I didn't open it anymore. Then we found another mistake, a little one. And yeah, that was it. Thanks a lot. If you want to support me, because I'm a small streamer and small YouTuber, leave a subscribe here on YouTube. I would really, really appreciate it. And this was a system that I wanted to share with everybody because I didn't find any solution in the internet. And hope I could help you as well. See you. Have a nice day. You're Sly Fox. See ya.